Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's the science fiction of Edgar Allan Poe with a very big eyeball. Let me imitate it right now. <laughs> All right, let's get this started with. Today is our 13th story, and it's called The Facts in the Case of M. Valdemir, a.k.a. Monsieur Valdemir. Yeah, Valdemar. Let's get this started with. Today is just somewhat like our story about like the revelations of mesmerism where the guy basically mesmerizes the guy you are now going sleepy you will now talk to me about god except this time instead of the person dying while mesmerization well this time the mesmerization is completely unintentional also it has a little twist at the end as if the guy was a zombie the whole time Zombies! It's always about zombies! And let's just, let me just go ahead and go deeper and explain everything to you guys. First off, the plot. The plot is about this unnamed narrator who goes ahead to his friend, M. Valdemar, who's at the last moments of his life. He's like, oh, I'm dying, please help me, save me. And it's like, I'm here, man, what do you want? Dr. D and F, confirm my death, I'll be dead in less than an hour. I'm like, and Dr. F comes in, how is he not dead yet? Okay, not okay, surprising, but good conditions. All right, any last words? Yeah, I guess so. And basically, all this works out really well. They talk about things, and they basically try to keep him from hallucinating. He said, I'm dead, I tell you. I'm a dead body who somehow still has an active brain. My heart stopped, my lungs stopped, but my brain hasn't stopped. Ah! And that all works out really well, except for the fact that this time he's actually probably dying. It's like, I'm dead, and next thing you know, I'm, I'm dying, and like, now you fool, I'm dead, why can't you leave a dead body alone? And with that, all those rants and rants later, they end up just giving up, and however, our unnamed narrator just doesn't give up. Well, the doctor's watch, he tries to do that, so, and it fails several times. Next thing that happens is literally, he success, he succeeds. He succeeds in, like, trying to go ahead and keep him from uh, saying that. However, instead of, like, curing him and keeping him awake just to say his last words and make sure that his last words are not, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dying, you fools, I can't leave a dead body alone. Instead, this happens, ah, he screams, and then the body literally decomposes. They're like, and they're like, wait, the body just disappeared? And the only thing that's left is, like, the liquid from inside the body because liquids can't dissolve. Sort of. I mean, is is this a time machine thing? It's like, is that guy just being time machine? Is like time being fast forwarded and we just didn't know about that? It, it, it's, it, is this guy a zombie in the beginning? Or is it something like the, uh, the person who died while being mesmerization in the our previous story? I believe it was our our eighth story, Mesmeric, mesmeric Revelation. Take your pick. I will say that it's something like that, except here just immediate decomposition, because once something's immediate decomposition, there's a lot that actually works out here. When something's the facts of M. Valdemar, that just goes ahead and does things. Unintentional hallucinations are true, and decomposition and being and having a time machine. Is he a time machine? Maybe. I mean, this works out like what H.G. Wells wrote in his uh, short story, science fiction story, The Time Machine. Well, at least the movie adaptation was somewhat similar. The movie adaptation was basically about the guy about a guy who goes in the future, finds out that we've evolved into extremely smart monkeys, and the other one evolved into extremely dumb monkeys. And then the extremely dumb monkeys decided to kill all the extremely smart monkeys. However, an uh, even more extremely smart person from the future, because apparently we devolved a bit, came to the future with a time machine and defeated the guy. However, he stuck himself in the, in the future, and he could never go back to his past. And like, yeah, this is worth it. This is worth it, in my opinion. And with that... We have a lot to say. So, what do I have from this? What do I have from this story anyway? What do we get from this story? What do we learn from this? Not a lot of morals are in this story. In fact, it's all just about decomposition and probably just comedy is because people love comedies and what people love, they'll buy and buying things equal dollar, dollar, dollar bills. However, that's not the reason for every story. However, that has been my excuse for every story. This time, however, it's a little different. He basically overused the uh, mesmerization plot again. This time, however, it, he does add the twist of the body decomposing, decomposing merely after uh, he somehow wakes up. This is, is definitely can't happen in real life. Bodies just don't turn into dirt immediately as soon as they die. Unless unless they're from MC. However, however, here, we learned that 
You should probably keep a dead man alone. And sometimes some things are futile. And there are some things that are worth fighting for. And it's you fighting for those things that are worth fighting for. That's what's worth it. That's what makes you a great guy. And that's it for today. I really hope you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And so until next time, Shanana, peace. Bye-bye. Please wear a helmet. See ya.